The top two teams in the NBA meet on Christmas Day as the Suns host the Warriors. Hawks at Knicks, 12 p.m. ET, ESPN, Kemba Walker is coming off a 44-point effort in New York's loss to Washington on Thursday. It was Walker's highest scoring game since scoring 44 points on December 11, 2019 as a member of the Celtics. Walker has 19 career games with 40-plus points, his teams are 5-14 in those games. The New York Knicks have played the most games on Christmas Day with 53 entering Christmas 2021. The Knicks are 22-31, 415, on Christmas Day, including a 21-24, 0, 467, mark at home. The Knicks are looking to stab a six-game Christmas Day losing streak, dating back to 2012. New York's last win on Christmas came in 2011 behind a 37-point effort from Carmelo Anthony. New York defeated Atlanta 99-90 on November 27, their first meeting since the Hawks eliminated the Knicks in the first round of the 2021 playoffs in five games. The Knicks have won five straight and seven of the last eight regular season meetings with the Hawks, dating back to 2019. Celtics at Bucks, 2.30 p.m., ET, ABC, the Celtics defeated the Bucks 117-103 on December 13 behind a season-high 42 points from Jason Tatum. Drew Holiday was the defender on Tatum for a team-high 6.52 of matchup time and held Tatum to 7 points, 3-6 FG, 1-4 3P. However, in 6.02 of combined matchup time against Chris Middleton, Pat Connaughton, Javante Smart, and Grayson Allen, Tatum scored 21 points and missed only one shot, 8-9 FG, 3-4 3P. Milwaukee's Giannis Antetokounmpo joins Denver's Nikola Jokic, the players that have combined to win the past three. Tatum is shooting 18-50, 36%, from the field just 2 to 15, 13, 3 percent, from three-point range, but is a perfect 21 to 21 from the free throw line with the game on the line. Only Philadelphia's Joe Embiid has made more clutch free throws this season than Tatum. Warriors at Suns, 5 p.m. ET, ABC, The Suns, 25 to 6. 839, and Warriors, 26 to 6, 0. 813, enter Christmas Day with the top two records in the NBA and the only teams with a win percentage over 80%. According to Elias, this is only the third time that two teams with win percentages of 0. 800 or better have met on Christmas Day, it is the fifth time the teams with the two best records have met on Christmas. This is the third meeting of the season between these teams as they split their games. So, 